Light has been part of my life since the age of about five when I was given something that looked like a, a 120 format uh, point and shoot camera. I have understood right from the beginning how light and shadow work. I'm David Mooney, I work for Atkins as a specialist lighting designer and engineer. I also sit on the uh, Council for the Society of Light and Lighting and we set standards for lighting and give design guides. We advise government on lighting levels and health and safety issues with lighting through the uh, Parliamentary Lighting Group. Uh, we are also very much involved in trying to actually get daylight to be part of the uh, building regulations. It's there for some of the things there, but we would like to see our building stock, both commercially and residentially, start to have minimum lighting standards. It is my job to educate architects on their, the, effect, the decisions that their architecture means in terms of lighting and daylighting especially. The design conversation for uh, daylight needs to be much more open between architects and engineers and it needs to be very early in the design process. We need to look as a team at the orientation of the building on the site and understand where our daylight is going to be and the timing of our daylight. When are we going to get light into the spaces there? When are we going to actually on occupancy terms use those spaces? Should we not be living on the first floor where daylight gets into the rooms better and has uh, there and actually sleep on the ground floor where it's in shade all the time and we're not actually in the bedrooms for most of the time. So if we're using the natural light there, then we're not actually having to put the electricity on. There's a famous house in uh, California. It's called the Solo Umbrella House. And all the living accommodation is on the top floor. And they managed to use the whole of the roof to balance that out with photovoltaic cells to actually make the uh, lighting, the daylight, work for that and they hardly use any electricity at all in the house. One of the jobs that I had was uh, lighting the Scottish Parliament and uh, we had 180 uh, members of Scottish Parliament to light and uh, working with, with um, Enrique Morales on the daylight side I worked out we needed 30% shading. His answer to that was to have wooden sandwich veneers with uh, cut out shapes of people in the, in the veneers there and that, that gave an overall uh, shading factor of 30% but that was his approach to it completely off the wall there but it gave me the number that I needed and it, all he wanted to know was what number do you need to achieve I'll deal with it this way. The uh, BBC director wanted to put orange filters on all the windows because he didn't want the light to change through daylight and we had to uh, kindly stop him and say this is actually a, a space for people in fact it's more than that it's a space for a Scottish nation we can't have orange windows my property secret is that the light that you choose affects the colour you see so if you've got a, a particular colour that you want to be prominent predominant in your room and say it's green, take that gr a swatch of that green colour to the shop and test it under the light source that you're going to buy and make sure it, it comes out green, it comes out yellow.